Hey Internet, welcome to Thermodynamics Tutorial 4-70. We have an insulated piston cylinder device containing 100 litres of air at 400 kPa and 25 degrees Celsius. A paddle wheel within the cylinder is rotated until 15 kJ of work is done. Air pressure is held constant. Find the final temperature of air. Neglect any energy stored in the paddle wheel. A paddle wheel is basically a turbine. We're going to ignore kinetic and potential energy from external sources. Step 1, draw your free body diagram, your FBD. You get a point for drawing a picture related to the question. It also helps you visualize the problem. It stated that pressure is held constant by the piston, so that means there's no change in volume. So that means there is no boundary work, only work done by the paddle or turbine. Step two, find the gas constant and CP, which is your specific heat capacity with respect to constant pressure of air. You can find this table at the back of your textbook. If you bought the PDF, you can use your search function. Control F, type in table A-2, go to your gas, which is air. So your gas constant R value is 0 0.2870 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Your CP is 1.005 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Step 3, find your initial enthalpy, which is your H1 at 25 degrees Celsius. We convert that to our absolute to Kelvin, so add 273, which is 298 Kelvin. From there, we go to table A-17. Go to 298 Kelvin. And our initial enthalpy is 298.18 kilojoules per kilogram. Step four, from the energy balance equation, derive the formula to find the temperature. So with respect to work, it will be W of the paddle, so work of the paddle in minus the boundary work out is equal to delta U, which is the change in internal energy, which is equal to mass multiplied by delta H, which is the final enthalpy minus the initial. As stated earlier in the question, so since the piston is not moving and the pressure is held constant, there is no change in volume, so there is no work for boundary work. So we are left with just the work of the paddle. Step five, find the mass of the air. So we're gonna assume it's ideal gas, which is M is equal to PV divided by RT. Once again, we need to convert our degrees Celsius to Kelvin which is 298 Kelvin. We convert the volume from liters to cubic, so meters cubed. So we've got 100 divided by 1000, that is 0 0.1 meters cubed, and we got 298 Kelvin. So this 400 kPa is given in the question right over here. And that's our 100 liters converted, same with the 25 degrees Celsius converted. So plug in your values and your gas constant is what you just found in step two, right over here. Okay, and you'll get 0 0.468 kilograms. Step six, find the final enthalpy, our H2. So using the formula that we derived from step four, we are using this portion. We're gonna ignore this portion. So we're just using the enthalpy part. So that is work is equal to mass multiplied by the difference in enthalpy. So we've got our initial enthalpy H1, which is what we found in step three right over here. So you plug in your values, 
you got your 15 kilojoules from your paddle or turbine that's stated in the question you just worked out your mass in step 5 you plug in your values and you'll get your final enthalpy of 330.23 kilojoules per kilogram so we take this final enthalpy and there is two ways to solve for the final temperature so the first way students hate it it's the linear interpolation way and what you need to do is linear interpolate in between these values because our final enthalpy is 330.23 which is right between 330.34 and 325.31 lecturers and professors love this method I don't know why it stresses students out and it really runs the clock down during exams maybe that's probably why okay so a lot of students have requested me to show the linear interpolation I understand that not all students are taught this in year one university although it should be taught in high school algebra however moving forward from every question now on I will show the linear interpolation step so what you do you go to your table in this case it's a-17 and we've got our min and max for our temperature which is what we're trying to find and we've got our min and max for our enthalpy we've also got our given enthalpy which is h2 our final enthalpy which sits right in between so on the right hand side is the enthalpy on the left hand side is the temperature in Kelvin so you do your linear interpolation and you can do this in your graphic calculator and you'll find that your final temperature in Kelvin is 329.9 Kelvin rounded up and to convert that to degrees Celsius you subtract 273 so that will give you 56.9 degrees Celsius now option B for the same step 7 you just use your formula that you derive from step 4 so now we're using this side the temperature side of the portion of the formula so that's MC Delta T so this is probably easier for most students you've got your 15 kilojoules given in your question you found your mass in step 5 right here and you found your CP in step 2 right over here and they give you your initial temperature of 25 degrees so they give you your 25 and you found the rest and all you have to do is plug in the value and you'll get 56.9 degrees as well I personally find that option B the alternative solution is easier I dislike linear interpolation myself also note that if you don't know how to manually linear interpolate I suggest you go on to my channel and type in how to linear interpolate or you can just search it on YouTube whichever video that teaches you how to linear interpolate I've also got a video on linear interpolation calculator so if you're doing an assignment you can probably use that calculator as well alright so disclaimers the method is correct however I do make calculation mistakes especially with linear interpolation so I encourage you to solve it yourself and see if you get the same answer thanks for watching hope you had a great day be sure to like subscribe share with your friends ring the bell turn on all notifications leave a comment below if this was helpful until next time see ya